Good morning, class and children. Today we are again back with our online class. As last time I had given you the syllabus of your English literature or English paper too. Today we will start with our poetry section. Now if you are with your poetry textbook, you may see the leftover chapters that we have to be completed in our session 2020-21. So these leftover chapters are chapter number 7, I know why the case were sings, the patriot, Abu Ban Nadan and 9 gold medals. So there are 4 points to be completed in this session. So like in class 9 we had taken the poems randomly. Likewise today also we will look have the number 10th poem in our online class today. The heading of the poem is 9 gold medals written by David Roth. Let us again now see on page number 37. So please see. Before we start the lines in the poem, as usual, we'll have a brief sketch of the poet David Roth. David Lee Roth is the full name of the poet. He was born on 10th October in the year 1954 in America. He is an American rock vocalist, uh, lyricist, actor, author, and radio personality. In fact, to say, he is a DJ. He is a lead singer in the famous hard rock band called Van Halen, which is a California-based band. He is a very successful soloist, which means a solo singer. He has given a very lovely poem for us, Nine Gold Medals. Now, when, he, when we talk about medals, everyone has a dream to win the medals. Here, in the poem, it discusses about the Special Olympics, in which we will see the last event to take place, that is the 100 meter race. Now, when we come to talk about 100 meter race, how can we forget Usain Bolt, who recorded 9.58 seconds, becoming the fastest man on earth? There are other names too, like Noah, Christian Coleman, Justin Glatton. These all are the people who have recorded the best in their 100 meter race. They are the fastest men on earth. The poem also discusses here about the 100 meter race. This is a very unique poem of the poet David Lee Roth. It is a narrative poem written in a lyric form. Let us now begin the lines in the poem and try to understand what the poet is wanting to tell us through this poem. Nine Gold Medals written by David Lee Roth. The poem discusses the last event in the Special Olympics and we see the stadium is packed to witness this last event of the Olympics. The line says the athletes had come from so many countries. Here, athlete means spoke, sports persons. The sports persons had come from so many countries participating in this Special Olympics. To run for the gold, for the silver and bronze, and they have participated to win gold, silver and bronze. Many weeks and months in training 
all building up to the games. So they have trained themselves for many, many weeks and for many, many months. And today they are fired with the zeal in preparing and getting the first three positions in the event and win gold medal, silver medal and bronze medal. All round the field spectators were gathered. Now in the stadium the spectators were all packed up. They are all gathered and they are highly excited to witness this last event of the Olympic meet. Cheering on all the young women and men and they all cheered their respective country participants. Then the final event of the day was approaching. The last race about to begin. They have a long wait for the final event to take place and it is about to begin. The last race which is a 100 meter race is about to begin. The loudspeakers called out the names of the runners. The loudspeakers. The loudspeakers are the announcers who announced the names of those runners who have been qualified to run for the final race. And you know, 100 meter race is the most prestigious event in the athletic meet. And every eye is set into watching this. The 100 meter race to be done. Now the 100 meter race is about to begin. Now those who have reached the final, they all are with the same dream to win the gold medal and place the country's name at the top of the list. And we all know the winner becomes the fastest man in the world. So all the names that were announced now, they all lined up as per their number in the lane. And nine young athletes stood there determined. And there were nine of them who have reached to the final of this Special Olympics. So the nine young athletes, they were all young, they stood all determined, fully formed, fully resolute to do their best and poised for the sound of the gun. And poised, here poised means got ready. They all got ready for the signal. Sound here refers to signal of the gunshot, which will be a signal to take the start. The signal was given. The pistol exploded. So when the finalists took up their lanes, they pricked their ears to listen to the signal that was the pistol shot. The pistol was fired. Exploded means fired. And so did the runners on hearing the sound, they run for their best. All the runners, as soon as they heard the pistol sounded, they took their start and each one of them tried to reach to the final point as fast as possible. But the youngest among them stumbled and staggered and he fell on the knees to the ground. But look at here what happened. The youngest among the nine athletes stumbled. Stumbled means tripped and staggered and he moved unsteadily and he fell on his knees to the ground. He could not get up. That was the saddest part to know in this young athlete who got badly injured. He gave out a cry of frustration and anguish. Lying himself in the lane, he gave out a cry of frustration. Here frustration means hopelessness and anguish. There was severe pain that he got badly hurt. 
His dreams and his efforts dust in the dirt. So his dreams and efforts all got shattered because he has come here as a participant in the Special Olympics to win not only a name for himself but to raise the country to the top list in this event. But now his hope got shattered, his dream got shattered. But as sure as I am standing here telling the story, now it is a strange one. But you see the poet who was there, he noticed a very strange thing that took place. That was something unexpected. But here is what awkward, but here is what happened, the poet says. The eight other athletes stopped in their tracks. So out of nine, the youngest among them had fallen down. The eight other athletes, they zoomed past him. Suddenly they stopped in their own running tracks. The ones who had trained for so long to compete, the ones who had slogged and trained weeks and months and years for so long to compete this race. One by one, they turned round and came back to help him. But it was a surprise for everybody to notice. One by one of these eight athletes stopped and came back to help the fallen youngest athlete in the track and lifted the lad to his feet and they all lifted him up to his feet. They re really forgot their own dream and came forward to help this young athlete. Then all nine runners joined hands and continued the 100 meters reduced to a walk. Then what was another unexpected thing that took, it took place was the nine runners, hand in hands, they joined and continued the 100 meters, the finishing point, instead of running, they walked and reached. And the banner above that said Special Olympics could not have been near the mark. And the banner, the name of the Olympics, which is said Special Olympics, could not be better than this one. It really turned out to be true. It was indeed a special Olympic because every spectator who was watching this event, the final event, the 100 meter race, they were stunned. They were all astonished that what they saw could not believe. That is how the race ended. This is how the race came to an end. All the nine athletes, instead of running, the 100 meter race, they joined hand in hands and walked to the finish line. The race got over. It was a unique scene to see. Ultimately, when they announced and announced the winner of this event, all the nine names were announced and all the nine athletes were given gold medals. They were declared winners of this event. They came to the finish line holding hands still and the banner above the nine smiling faces said more than these words ever will, said more than these words ever will. They came to the finish line holding their hands and the banner that read Special Olympics indeed turned out to be Special Olympic. This is how the poem ends. This really has been a very great poet, poem written by the poet David Lee Roth. It indeed became a special one. So this is called true sportsmanship. They displayed solidarity, empathy and values of the games and sports. The poem teaches us to help each other when in need. The poem also tells us that victory lies in being helpful and 
cooperative had there been or had these nine athletes been of the selfish nature they would not have helped the fallen youngest athlete but look at the way how they ended this event it was remarkable praiseworthy outstanding thus the poet is telling us that games and sports do played for winning but at the same time when in need you need to help each other this is the motive of the poem to all the readers hence we have covered the poem the exercises to this poem will be given to you you work as per the explanation as given in the poem thank you very much